welcome to day 20 of our Lent series, Monday of the third week of Lent. We continue our reflection on pillars of Lent. Today we would like to move on to the second pillar of Lent, which is fasting. I know many of us are fasting, especially this Lent season, maybe on Fridays or on any day of one's choice. But today I would like us to really understand what fasting is and why we should fast. So what is fasting? Fasting is a deprivation of good in order to make a decision for a greater good. It is mostly associated with abstention from food, but fasting can also take the form of giving up other goods like comfort and entertainment. But why fast? Is there a need really for fasting? The answer is yes. Why? I would like us to reflect on three points why we should really fast. One, to put the created order and our spiritual life in a proper balance. Fasting is the practice of self-denial with the ultimate goal of self-control. St. Paul tells us that the impulses of nature, that is, the impulses of our bodies, and the impulses of the spirit are at war with one another in his letter to the Galatians chapter 5 verse 17. This war is so intense that our passions often lead us to do things we don't want to do. Thus, this invites us to imitate St. Paul to discipline our bodies and keep them under control in order to gain a prize for our efforts as Christians. First letter to the Corinthians chapter 9 verse 27. The second reason, by denying ourselves something we enjoy, we discipline our wills so that we are not slaves to our pleasures. By disciplining the will to refuse pleasures when they are not sinful, a habit is developed which allows us to use our will to refuse the pleasures when they are sinful. 3. Fasting revives our desire to obey God, who alone is capable of satisfying our hunger. It reminds us that we always need to trust in the divine providence, no matter what the plenty we have, no matter what surplus we have. It also helps us to feel what those who don't have feel, and after feeling like them, by denying ourselves food and other good things, we are moved to do charity and almsgiving, especially with those things we have fasted from. It doesn't make much meaning when we fast from something or deny something good from ourselves, and then we keep it for the next day, so that when the fast is ended, we use it. Fasting requires that those things we have fasted from, we give them to the people who don't have, to the poor. This is when fasting will make meaning. Today ask yourself, if you are fasting during this Lent, or if you have been fasting for some time, why do you fast? So that you will not find yourselves, maybe you are fasting for wrong reasons and then you don't get the benefits of it. I wish you a very blessed Lenten season and a blessed fast. Thank you very much.